Hey guys, my name is Jackson and in this video I'm going to talk to you a little bit about setting up your first bit of content on the Epic Seller Marketplace um, and some little tips and tricks and shit that I learned the first time I did it. So I've got my first bit of content up there now. This is it here. Da -da -da -da. Um, it's got a bunch of screenshots that sort of explain how it works. I've answered half the questions. It hasn't been rated. Um, and I've got a demo for it and a setup video, like a tutorial and just all the technical details. Um, this has made me almost a thousand bucks, I think, um, and I haven't done like anything to market it at all, but I'll talk more about that later. But basically like I uploaded it, I got quite a few sales like on the first couple of days, I'm assuming because they would have promoted it as a new thing. Um, and I've, you know, been steadily making a sale or two every couple of days. Um, and I put a post on Reddit recently, um, which actually got me like five sales just randomly. So. Anyway, I'll talk about some of that stuff later. This video is about how to set this up for yourself. It's actually very simple. Um, so the first thing you need to do, which I'm not going to show you how to do, but it's to go to the um, the seller portal and just set up your account. Like you just need to sign up and you need to fill out like a hyper wallet thing, which I think is like, I can't really remember, but it was probably tax information and shit like that. Um, I put that off for a while because I was sort of like scared of it, but um, I actually, when I actually went through and did it, I was like, oh yeah, just question by question and realized that it actually wasn't that bad. And then it was done and I was like, oh, okay. I was sort of like worried about nothing. So like, don't be afraid of it. Just fucking make your account and just go through the questions and just do best to answer them. Um, and you'll be done. Um, the first thing that you'll want to do once you've got your account, well, you obviously need to make a project and you need to have something to sell. So, you know, make make something that people that are interested in. If you've got a YouTube channel, look at the videos that are, you know, your most popular and make some content around that or just sell content that you're already making like as a byproduct. That's always a good way to do things. Um, but once you've got your project, you need to organize it a little bit. So this is a project that I'm about to put up right now. I've got four folders down here that only want you to have one folder. So everything that's in your third person template or whatever, just highlight everything and just drop it into a third person template folder and then just drop that into your main folder. Um, so it needs to be content and then just one folder in your project. And then in that you need to divide up all the content into separate subfolders like AI, blueprints, components, maps and materials. Um, there's a whole big document on the guidelines for how to do this and I didn't read it. <laughs> um, all I did was just sort of guessed about how these went and I submitted my project and there's someone on the other end who, you know, goes through it and they send it back to you with a spreadsheet of, all right, met this requirement, met this requirement, didn't do this, you need to do this. Um, and so if you want to save time, I'd recommend that's just how you do it. Like, uh, have a quick flick through the guidelines, but don't stress about getting it absolutely right on your first time. Just approximately organize things the way that you'd expect it to be organized. Like have a thing for your AI, have a thing for your blueprints, have a thing for your maps and etc. And then just send it off and then they'll tell you if something needs to be fixed and then you can correct it. I think I went back and forth with the person on email probably like six or seven times and then they accepted it and was like, all right, sick. Um, that's another thing to mention. Actually, it needs to be a project. It can't just be a little um, folder with all the assets in it. It needs to be an actual fully functional project to to submit to the thing. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, delete your saved and intermediate folders. So if I go into Unreal Engine um, in here, saved and intermediate, you want to just delete those just to save space. So it's a nice and small file. Like this whole project's only like 50 gigabytes. Uh, 50, not 50 gigabytes, that'd be a big one. Uh, there, 38 megabytes. It's only tiny because it's just a bit of code and um, I don't have starter content or anything. If you want to reduce your project size, you can just migrate everything that's essential. So if you've got like a folder like that, you just migrate that to a clean project and then that's the one that you submit to the thing. Um, you'll want a demo video. So, you know, shoot something that's cool looking to put into your um, your page. So when people see it, they can, you know, see what it looks like because you can't put videos in here. You can only put um, pictures. So... Um, put a demo video, you want to have a setup video, try and keep them short. I've noticed that you want them to be short because if someone goes to buy your thing and then they look at the tutorial video and it's like 37 minutes long, they just, well, what would you do? You'd be like, fuck that. Like I'm going to look for something cheaper. Um, so simplicity goes a long way. I think same with the description, keep your, dis your description simple. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Oh, so actually 
Um, one other thing that you'll need to do is obviously the art. So there's this sort of stuff. Um, and there's like a cover picture and stuff like that. I don't actually know if I'm allowed to show you the publisher portal, so I'm just not going to do that just yet, and I'm going to cut this clip in a second. But what you what is in it, I can tell you what's in it. Uh, you need to all your screenshots need to be in 1920 by 1080 pixels. Uh, I don't have Photoshop or anything like that because it's fucking expensive, and to be honest, I hate Adobe. I absolutely hate it. Um, and so there's a free tool called Canva which you can use to just make all your um, pictures for so just take some screenshots of your game layer some text over it uh just do something cool like this with some text like that and just a nice screenshot you know just explaining it what it does so someone can flick through these and be like oh yeah i see i see how this works and then they can buy it so you need a 1920 by 1080 one you need a thumbnail which is 1284 by 12, uh, 284 and you need a this is like the another sort of thumbnail one for something i can't remember what for which is 894 by 488 those are the three dimensions that you need um, so, I think that's all. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comment section. Um, I, I dropped my prices to 50% for an epic October sale. Um, and I don't, like they sent me an invitation by email to do this. They must send one to everyone. And I think I did it. And I don't think I got any more sales. I looked at it today. Um, so for what that's worth I don't think that really helps like having sales but I did put a post on Reddit which was just a picture it was just a picture of the uh, one of these uh, I think it might have been I think it might have been this one here but without the text or something like that I put a picture of that on Reddit and then just a link to my marketplace thing this is in the Unreal Engine Reddit um, and I think the title was like uh, Endless Procedural Worlds 50% off for October sale or something like that and in like an hour, it got like five sales for like 30 bucks each or something. So um, Reddit works. <laughs> something to just keep in mind. You're not a sleazebag for promoting your shit as long as you don't spam everybody, I suppose. So um, yeah, if you have any questions about this, drop them in the comments below.